Hello and welcome back to my channel Dear World Love Prachi. In the month of June I traveled to the UK and Ireland. Since then I decided to share my joy of traveling with the world. I've made a few videos on Edinburgh and Dublin so far. You can check them out on my channel. If you are planning a budget trip to the UK, you must watch my videos titled Tips to a budget trip to Edinburgh and Meals on a budget in the UK. In today's video, I'm going to share my experience of the Guinness Storehouse tour. We bought our tickets from the official website of Guinness Storehouse. I have added the link in the description below. We chose the most basic type of tickets which included a self-guided tour and a pint of Guinness or a non-alcoholic drink in their rooftop bar. This type of ticket costs between 26 to 30 euro depending on the day you visit. Guinness is an Irish brand of beer. Its color is darker than regular beer. Its taste is very bitter. but it has a hint of chocolate and coffee in it you start the tour by learning about the base ingredient of any beer which is barley the barley is roasted at a specific temperature to achieve the intense taste of guinness the tour also showcases some old equipments which were used for roasting Another important ingredient in Guinness is water. Water is sourced from Wicklow Mountains which is located to the south of Dublin. Guinness has a very bitter taste owing to twice the amount of hops in it. Hops are plants which provide the bitterness in a beer. That raised a question in my head. Why would you intentionally put a bitter taste to a drink that you are formulating? Well, the answer is that hops do more than just provide bitterness. It has preservative and antimicrobial properties. Basically, hops ensure that the drink is safe and does not change taste over time. The next ingredient is a strain of yeast which has been preserved for years. It is kept under lock and key. Kind of like how the recipe for coke is a secret. The tour also includes a section which shows you how barrels were made in the past. This old film, shot in the Cooper shop at St James's Gate Brewery, Dublin, captured for posterity the atmosphere. Finally, at the end of the tour, you get to taste a pint of Guinness or a non-alcoholic drink in their rooftop bar called Gravity. The view from Gravity Bar is phenomenal. You can see all of Dublin from up there. Wicklow Mountains to one side and Phoenix Park to the other. It's difficult to get a seat at the Gravity Bar. People are enjoying their Guinness, taking photos of the amazing views, or simply resting their feet after the long walking tour. I tried Guinness Zero. It is the non-alcoholic version of Guinness. and just like regular beer i hated it too the bartender even put a few squirts of a sweetener but that didn't help either i didn't enjoy the guinness tour much it was because it was self guided it felt like a museum of something which i don't appreciate if i visit ireland again i want to do this tour but I would say this tour is for people who really love their beer. Go ahead then. A very important thing to remember before you book your tickets to Guinness Storehouse is that this is not the actual factory where they make the Guinness beer now. As I described it before, it is like a museum dedicated to Guinness. We went for an Irish meal in a restaurant called All Dubliner in Temple Bar. We tried the cordial and chicken wings. At last we went to Trinity College. We wanted to visit the Book of Kells but we reached after 5 so it was closed. But we did something else and that shall remain a happy memory in my heart. Butler's Chocolate is a chain with many shops around Dublin. 
they serve various kinds of hot chocolates and also chocolates with every order of hot chocolate they give you one chocolate of your choice too i loved their hot chocolate so much that i ensured that i had it at the airport again before i boarded my flight at the end of the day we saw a local cricket match where our friend was an umpire the canteen over there sold this bottle of coke i'm seeing this glass bottle after ages i don't think it's sold in india anymore so our day 3 to dublin included a trip to the guinness storehouse trinity college experience of irish meal and the amazing hot chocolate from butlers all in all a very pleasant day thank you for watching bye